Galaxy for the first time. It's really awesome seeing all the animals more thriving corals than in the US. This is some of the most resilient coral around the world. All right, y'all, I'm all geared up and I'm gonna go scuba diving for the very first time. I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know how to swim, that's a secret. But apparently I don't need to for this, so let's see how it looks down there. Scientists have found that Red Sea corals can survive a seven degree increase in temperature, while most of the reefs around the world will suffer from just one degree variance. So they could be the key to saving the rest of the world's coral. But for solutions like this to work, we need to have better preservation efforts in place. There's a whole new world down there. Corals were a little bleach, but the marine life, the fish were just literally on the hand. About 25% of the ocean's fish rely on coral, but we do too as humans for food, income, and coastal protection. Unfortunately, we have lost about half of the world's coral since the 1950s, and ocean health has never been a main theme in the COPS agenda in its 27-year history. Ocean solutions receive less than 1% in philanthropic climate funding. Only 33 of 193 countries that signed the Paris Agreement have any sort of strategy around marine and coastal protection in place. To quote the amazing Sylvia Earle, if we don't have blue, we don't have green, and if we don't have green, we don't have us. So we need to protect it. It was magical. I want to do it again.